This is an IPO coming from the Bharti Group family itself after about 10 years. The IPO is primarily for the tower arm which is Bharti Infratel which is one of the largest tower infrastructure provider in the country. Bharti Infratel also owns a 42% in Indus. So this is an IPO towards uh, you know uh, the growth that we are seeing on account of data in this market to monetize on that opportunity. This is an IPO coming in from uh, Bharti Infratel. Today, Bharti Infratel uh, and Indus put together, where we own a 42%, we have a 38% tower market share and a 42.5% tenancy market share. So we are a clear number one. Indus plus Infratel has 145,000 towers, which is clearly the number one. After that is BSNL with close to about 69,000. And then there are others, of course, who are lesser than that too. So again, Infratel is a well present in, in seven circles and uh, we have... Uh, Indus, which is present in the balance of the country, with our 42% interest in Indus, we get actually a pan-India coverage. So we pretty much cover the whole country. The top three operators, Airtel, Vodafone and Idea, are our anchor customers. And uh, thereby we get one of the largest footprint in terms of towers because one of these three is probably the one, two or three in every circle that we are operating in brief strategy, a simple five-pronged strategy, we want to promote tower sharing, which is good, as I said, for the operator because it reduces its cost. It's good for us because more the sharing, uh, better is the returns for us too, and it's good for the environment, the more sharing it is done. So that's first, promote tower sharing. Second, we believe we are at a cusp of data taking off, and our relationship with the top three operators has helped us gain a very good market share. We want to leverage on that. These same operators are very aggressive on 3G and 4G too. We want to build a very good 2100 megahertz 3G network with them and op monetize on this opportunity of growth that is staring at us on account of data. So those are the two. Besides, lastly also, you know, we are also driving operational excellence. Alternate energy solutions have been included into the basket. But lastly, we are also looking at not only growing organically by retaining and growing on our market share. We are also open to inorganic growth through acquisitions, both in the country and maybe also globally. So data today, when I look at, um, uh, you know, Idea and Airtel, who are the two companies who started to declare this as part of their quarterly results now, on a sequential quarter basis, we are seeing uh, now the subscribers and traffic grow roughly about 25% on a sequential. So clearly gives us an indication that we are at a cusp when data is really on the verge of taking off. So we want to capitalize on that opportunity and work with these operators to see that we also get a lion share of business going forward.